Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to run Excel macro using VBA to merge multiple CSV files. All right, so here I have a, a list of CSV files. So these are basically uh, Tesla historical price from January to December 2020. And I have 12 CSV files. And each file contains the uh, daily price for Tesla stock. And I want to merge all the files together into one single file. So let me uh, close this file. All right, so the first thing we need is we need to open a blank Excel file. And make sure that you save the Excel file as macro enable file. Next, you want to go to the developer tab and open the Phoebe window. All right, so we're going to start by inserting a new module. I'll name the subroutine merge CXV files. Fortunately, the macro we are going to write doesn't take a lot of code to write. So I'm going to start by declaring my variables and my objects. So I'm going to declare my target workbook as workbook. and data sheet. So data sheet is going to be the worksheet that where we're going to store all the data. And it's going to be a worksheet object. And me uh, increase the fonts. All right. For the folder path, and this is going to be the folder path or the directory path where all the CSV files are located. And it's going to be a string in my file, a string. Also, I want to create a last row variable, a slow. All right, so we're going to start by creating our, our data sheet object. So I'm going to type set data sheet is equals to this workbook that worksheets and on my template file so this is going to be uh, the template file where I'm going to use to merge all the uh, files I already created a tab called master so I'll copy the worksheet name and I'll send that to the worksheet uh, method Next, I want to uh, assign the folder path to the folder path uh, variable. So I'll grab my uh, folder path and assign to the uh, folder path variable. And notice that uh, this is a uppercase. Let me change that back to a lowercase. And once we have the folder path, we need to iterate all the files or all the items uh, giving the folder path string. So here I can say that uh, here, I'm going to insert the, the function first, followed by the folder path. I only want to uh, iterate all the CSV files. So I'm going to insert a wildcard symbol, period, CSV. What this statement will do is, it's going to iterate all the items in this folder. And if the extension maps to my uh, parameter here, dot CSV, then it's going to return the file name. I'm going to assign the output to my file. And here I'm going to insert if statement. I'm going to check if my file name is, uh, is empty. So I'm going to type equal to uh, VB now string. Then I want to display a message. CSV files not found. Oops. Oh. All right. Otherwise, I want to clear the uh, the master worksheet. So from data sheet, I can reference every single cells using the cells member that clear contents.
Right, so this is going to be uh, step number one. Clear worksheet. For step number two. And this is going to be uh, iterate CXP files. So here I'm going to insert do while loop. And I'm going to say that while my file is not empty, I want to create my uh, target workbook first. And the target workbook is going to be uh, each individual CSV file. So I'll type workbooks that are open. I want to provide the folder path followed by the file name. Oh, and uh, let me check something. So going back to folder path, make sure that we include the uh, slash at the end. I need to make sure that I empty out the target workbook option every time I finish a task. That way we don't run into the risk that we're going to uh, copy duplicate records. Here I'm going to grab the last row of the master worksheet. So from data sheets, data cells, I want to grab the row count first. I want to grab the last row number based on column A. Now I want to uh, reference the target workbook based on the uh, the first worksheet. So remember, uh, for CSV file, you can only have one single worksheet. So here we can directly reference uh, worksheet number one. That range, and we can. Uh, use cell range A1 to reference the current region. And here I want to copy the data set to the data sheet. That cells. And since we don't want to overwrite any data, so we want to increase the last row value by one. And we're going to insert the data in column A. And once we finish copying and pasting the data set, we can close the workbook. And to go to the next file, we need to update my file by uh, inserting DIR again, and that's it. Now let me put a stop right here. L plus F5 to run the macro. And here have a typo data sheet. And let me open the immediate window. Let me, uh, let me debug first. Right, so we have the worksheet name. And it doesn't like the syntax. Okay, so uh, let me try again. So I'll put a break right here. Now this time it works. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I think there was like a, a bug, but now it's fixed. All right, so let me run the macro again. Now you can see that uh, the loop is going to uh, iterate each file and merge all the files, not merge, combine all the files into one single file. And we think that we have duplicate headers. And we need to remove the headers. Also, we need to remove the uh, extra space, not extra space, uh, extra line on the top in row number one. And we can do that pretty easily. So here I'm going to reference the uh, master worksheet by referencing data sheet object. And I'll delete the first row. Next, I can reference uh, cell range A1. And because at this point, uh, the empty, uh, the extra blank row is now deleted. And I can reference current region that 
remove duplicates. Basically, we're going to uh, use uh, the date label to remove all the duplicate rows. So I can say that uh, remove duplicates based on the first column. And do we need to worry about headers? Uh, we can say no. And that's it. And once we finish every single task, I need to set data sheet object back to empty. Let me remove the style statement. And I'll put a break right here. Now if I plus I five to run the macro. So the first uh, task is we're going to clear all the uh, content in this worksheet. Now we're going to erase all the files, all the CSV files. I'm going to continue. And it's going to be uh, step number three, clean up. And this will remove the first row. And this will remove the duplicate uh, lines. And we're done with the macro. Now if I take a look at this file, now I can see I have all the historical price from January to December for Tesla. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.